Hi, in this video, we are going to look at how to cut holes or sections out of a 3D model in Onshape. We're gonna look at two methods of doing this. We're going to create a sketch, uh, and then in that sketch, we're going to uh, create a shape like a, a circle and use that circle to cut a hole uh, through the 3D model when we extrude it. So we're gonna look at how to cut a section out as we extrude a model and then we're also going to look at another method where we can cut sections out of a shape or cut through a shape after that um, shape has already been extruded. So what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to uh, create a new sketch. Uh, I'm going to do it on the front plane. So I'll just click the front plane and then I'll press the N key on the keyboard to look at that plane front on. So now I'm in the front front view. And what I'll do is I'll just create a rectangle. So I'll use a center point rectangle so I can sketch it out from the origin. And I'm not too worried about the um, dimensions or anything here, so I'll just create a rectangle. And then uh, I'm going to have a semicircle on the top of this rectangle. So I could do it two ways. I could either use one of the arc tools to draw an arc over the top here, or I could uh, use the uh, center point circle tool, which I'll use. And then I can just trim some of the lines afterwards. So. I'll just make sure that I snap onto the center of the top of this rectangle here. I'll click there, click on one of the corners to snap onto there. And now I've got a circle on the, the rectangle. What I can do is I can click this little trim tool here, the little scissors, and then I can trim this arc here. I don't want that one anymore. And I can also trim off these two lines here. So now this is all just one clean shape, okay? What I'm going to do now, rather than just extruding this shape and cutting a section out of it later, I'm going to um, draw out a circle here. And when I extrude it, that circle will cut through the shape. It will create a hole. So I'll create another circle. I'll just use the center point circle tool again, and I'll snap it to the center here. So a circle concentric with the first one I created. And again, I'm not worried about the dimensions here. I'll just set it to any size. And that's it, I'm done with the sketch. All right, now we can look at that sketch from a 3D perspective. And I'm going to select that sketch and click on extrude. And straight away, when we extrude, um, doesn't matter which direction, when we extrude that shape, we can see now that there's a circle cut out of the middle. So I'm happy with that. I'll click uh, the green little tick and I can move around and see, yep, yeah, there's a circle that's been cut through the center there. All right, so that's how to cut a section out as you're extruding. Now that I've extruded this shape, I might want to cut another section out of it. Maybe the whole way through, I might want to make another hole, or I might want to um, maybe just go halfway or a certain amount in. So what I can do is create a whole new sketch, and I'll, I'll just go into the front view again, click on sketch, and uh, I'll select, make sure I've selected the front plane. That's the one that I want to draw on. And I can use any of these tools here. I could use the line tool to create um, some kind of shape, or I could use the rectangle, or circle tool, arc tools. It doesn't really matter. I might go with the rectangle tool this time, center point rectangle, and I'll just draw a rectangle here. And now I want to uh, cut this, uh, use this rectangle to cut through the shape. So I'm done with that sketch. Uh, I can change the view again if I like. I'm going to click on that rectangle and I'm going to click on the extrude button. Now, it tries to extrude that shape. So if I wanted to create a section coming out from that shape, then I can use add to extrude out. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove. All right, now I can drag that to cut the whole way through this shape. So if we move around and look through, it's actually it's actually cut all the way through and I could click done. And there we go, we've got, we've got a, uh, a rectangle that's uh, cut through the shape. But I might just undo that and go back again, click on that rectangle, click on uh, extrude, remove. And I might not want to cut the whole way through. So I can just drag it through uh, as far as I want or I can type in the depth uh, amount that I want there and then just click uh, on the green tick once I'm happy and that's going to only remove seven millimeters in there so it's just cut a section through without going the whole way through 
Okay, and again, it could I could have used any of the different shapes. I could have used the line tool, uh, circle tool, arc, rectangle, uh, doesn't really matter. All right, so that's how to cut through uh, a shape uh, using the extrude tool in Onshape. Thanks for watching.